the votes came in. Let me teach y'all how I make my Whole30 Italian wedding soup. The first thing we're gonna do is make our meatballs for the soup. And two pounds of any ground meat will do, but I like this combination because I feel like it adds more flavor. Um, so you do you, two pounds of any ground beef will do. From there, we're gonna add one egg, well mixed, fourth a cup of almond flour. This here is three tablespoons of chopped parsley and two cloves of garlic that I minced. And then plenty of salt and pepper. Okay, so after you mix up the meat real well, you form your meatballs. I have a parchment paper lined baking sheet. I've got this melon baller and I am just initially forming the meatballs. I'm gonna go back through and roll them up to make them a little bit more perfect. Okay, so now that all my balls are formed, I'm just going back through and gently rolling them with my hands to make them into a little bit more perfect circles. They don't have to be perfect, but that way they're not just big blobs. All my meatballs are going in the oven at 350 and they're gonna take about 30 minutes to cook through. While those meatballs are cooking, let's get our soup going. I've got two tablespoons of olive oil over medium high heat. I've got onions, celery, and carrots going in. I'm gonna season it with a little crushed red pepper, optional. I'm also gonna add a little bit of fresh garlic in there, some salt and pepper. We don't want a bland soup. We're gonna let that saute until everything's nice and tender. Okay, now that all this is all nice and tender, we're gonna add some chicken broth in. I've got some homemade bone broth. I'm putting that in. We're gonna do eight cups. If you wanna know how to make bone broth, go to my site. I'm a bone broth girl. And then also, and also when I don't have homemade, I like to use this brand. It's the only Whole30 one that I really like. And we're gonna do eight cups of broth. So I'm gonna do a blend because that was all the bone broth I had left over, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm also adding in a fourth a cup of fresh chopped parsley and about half a teaspoon of dried oregano. And then lastly, you need eight cups of leafy greens. So let me show you what I'm using. All right, I said eight cups. I meant five cups of leafy greens. You can use kale, Swiss chard, anything, but this is escarole. That's kind of the traditional way of doing it. And I'm just gonna stir that right in. My meatballs are just about to come out. So this is only, so I'm just letting that wilt down and I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper to my soup. And as soon as my meatballs are out in about two minutes, I'm dropping those in there and we will have our soup ready. My meatballs are done and I am just gonna take them and drop them right into the soup and get all of those magic elixirs out, like my friend Terry would say. All right, and here's the finished product. A delicious Whole30 rendition of the classic Italian wedding soup. So go make it.